Good afternoon all, welcome back to another video. I um, hope you're all well, happy new year. I hope you're all surviving this manky lockdown number three. Um, yeah, not good times is it? But we crack on. Uh, today's video is the second part to the setup videos. Today is a car setup, so if you're just starting out in window cleaning or if you haven't got a van, uh, this is a setup that one of the guys in the WhatsApp video, uh, WhatsApp group, sorry, uses, and it's just a walk around of his car to show that you don't necessarily need a van to become a window cleaner. You can do it in a car if you so wish. Uh, the video is by Lee from Old School Window Cleaners. Uh, description box below features all the details for his channel and the other guys in the WhatsApp group. Their videos are linked in that box. So go and check out their channels. Um, I am just finishing off for today. It's very cold here in Norfolk today, only one degree most of the day, so I've just got one more job to do. Um, just give you a little bit of a view of where I am. So behind me, one of those sides, is the lighthouse that you would have seen in a previous video. Um, if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. It's obviously very good because it's made by me. But yeah, current scenes, obviously, as always with me, uh, you get to see the North Norfolk coast, which is very cold. There's been a little bit of snow, rain, sleet, all that gubbins. But yeah. Anyway, enough chitter chatter and nonsense from me. Go and check this video out. Give the other boys channels uh, a like and a subscribe and make sure you like and subscribe my channel anyway stay safe keep well au revoir hi guys lee from old school window cleaners working out of my car i know some of the other lads in the group use a van but this is how i work out the car my back seat comprises of a bag of rubbish <laughs> it's kind of spare brushes and a scraper and uh, just little bits and pieces in there. Same in that one, there's a little bit of sealer in there for the gutters, one of my old work shirts, which is just used for wiping my hands, and just a few bits and pieces. This bag is full of gutter brackets, all different ones, black, white, squares around, joins, brackets. I find it quite handy to carry a little bit of everything in the guttering in the way that when I'm out on a job if somebody has got a leaking gutter while I'm there I can replace it for them um, obviously there's an extra charge but I can place it, replace it for them my tripod sits very nicely in the middle the other side there I always keep my safe clamps the Rhino safe clamps brilliant uh, kit chemicals for soft washing and chemicals for <coughs> heavy degreasing front seat is usually my lunch and my scruffs gear to keep me warm in the cold and then we'll go to the back which is a little bit tight but obviously ladders go on the roof rack please excuse the traffic noise I haven't picked a great time to do the video but that's my trad bucket with stuff in belt rubber couple of buckets on about there um, then top box is my clean cloths the rest of me that will wash at the moment so those are my clean cloths that I've got at the moment hive is for when I'm on any commercial sites with the company name and number and stuff on the box underneath that <coughs> again has got a few bits and pieces in like mops spare mops and brushes for when we're doing seals if we do inside the shuts this second box is another mixed box of booties for covering your shoes when you go in customer's house. Some latex gloves, I'm glad I've checked that because I need some more. That is a handy kit. When we hook that up to a customer's tap, we can split off the two and two of us can work at the same time. We have the metal, a lot of the metal adapters, they just last longer. Clips for, if you need to wrap a rag around the end of a brush. Uh, I haven't got any brushes in the car today. Uh, razor blades for the scrapers 
few tools, screwdrivers, spanner, hammer, etc. Some bungees. We need bungees. I keep my pro gutter tools in here. <coughs> I've got the round one, the OG for conservatory guttering, and in here somewhere is a very worn out, very worn out square one somewhere, um, which does actually need replacing. There it is. As you can see, I've um, I've used it quite a bit, an awful lot actually. And then <coughs> the box under that is. my soaps and stuff so let's drop that back on there I carry some extra fine wire wool just for those really tricky awkward ones my big scraper my big scraper just slides in down there nice uh, flat bags gloves uh, some lead flashing some more trad gear in there this is all my mowerman gear here um, I'll get on about uh, liquidator channels handles and they are all the uh, all the handles I use for mowerman are the accelerator 2.0 um, handle which is really good so I'll just try and do this one handed again sorry and then you've got, let's see if I can zoom in on that, you've got your your different uh, angles there, 25, 10, 25, press that in and that moves in. That's, that's the trad handles that I use. Um, I carry water in that, I normally have another one in with me, so I carry that as another water bot. Um, I don't need a lot of water. A lot of customers have got outside taps, so I can get water from there. We don't put the soap solution in the in with the water. We put a little bit in, but we mainly put it straight onto the applicator. Um, we put it straight onto the applicator there when it's wet, and, and work that way. A nice bit of carpet in the bottom just to protect the boot. And if we go back in this side, that's my heavy degreasing solution that we use. Safe clamps, as I said, trolley jack, instant barbecue. Sorry about that, I had a call come through and it cut the video off. These are the ladders that I use. I have a normal ladder there. I have a small, small A-frame ladder there. And then I have a set of A-frame ladders there as well, which are pretty good. And when I work with the car then I also have the red pole is the gardener pole and the other pole underneath has got a Viking brush on and that's my big heavy duty ladders which weigh an absolute ton, they are for gutter clearing. So that's pretty much the setup I use for my car, thanks for watching guys. You can work out of a car, it's not ideal, it is a bit cramped as you can see but it can be done until you can get yourself a proper, a proper, if I turn the camera around, until you get yourself a proper van. Um, thanks for watching guys, please like and subscribe the channel, JB's a top bloke and he, uh, he'll keep uploading as he goes. Thanks for watching guys.